Well, you may know the Matilda Jocelyn Gage House in Fayetteville as an historical place to visit. Lots of history here, but it's expanded beyond just a museum. Sally Rush Wagner joins us right now. She is the executive director, and you're now calling it the center. The Gage Center for Social Justice Dialogue. Which means that you are more than just come in and see the, the furniture and the wallpaper and we so on. Absolutely are. We're ideas, not artifacts. One of our board members said, we are not one more dusty museum. <laughs> so what do people get when they come and visit you? People get self-guided tours generally, and they're able to spend as long as they want in the museum. We have finished up a whole series of new exhibits. Uh -huh. They're almost all interactional. This uh, time of of the museum's um, prominence um, involved women's rights, it involved um, the Underground Railroad and yes. abolition, and it also involved L. Frank Baum, um, who was uh, the son-in-law, right? The son-in-law and the one who told him to write the books. She was also his intellectual mentor. You're also part of a new program called the Blue Star yes. Museums, yes. Um, and you are opening your doors to some very special guests. Yes. We really, Matilda Jocelyn Gage was a supporter of the Civil War, as the women were, they were part of the Sanitary sure. Commission, and we support soldiers today and our armed services by opening our doors, free admission to them and their families. Well, thank you so much for the update. Um, if you would like to see it, the Gage Center is in Fayetteville. As we say, uh, they are open generally for tours. The Blue Star program includes several museums here in central New York, open to veterans and their families. There is their website. And uh, this weekend is OzFest weekend, and the Gage Center is open for special tours um, this weekend mm -hmm. also because of the connection with L. Frank Baum and the Wizard of Oz. Hope you've learned something this morning.